you are my own flesh, and I love you tenderly. I could prove it now by giving you the only thing that's ever been mine. But please, sister, let this one thing belong to me. You speak of giving. All these years that I've worked like a field hand, what haven't I given you? You've given everything to me and to Colin and to Catherine. But we've earned our way a bit. We've made a nice home for you, haven't we? <laughs> a fine home. Has it not struck you that I've never invited anyone into this house? And for a very simple reason, I'm ashamed to. Oh, I'm sorry. I always thought there was a place for us here. That you needed it somehow. But it will be all right, Verena. We'll go away. <laughs> oh, Dolly, dear. Wherever would you go? I know a place. All I wish... I wish a powerful big breeze would blow all that foolishness out of your head and set you to studying our predicament. We are homeless people with few assets. Exactly now, what are our assets? We have $43.35 and my cameo. You recall how we read in the paper where a man bought a castle across the ocean and brought it every bit back home with him? If he could do that, what's to keep us? from loading some of the rooms of our house on the wagon and hauling it down here to the tree. Nothing except it's not our house. It belongs to Verena. Oh, you're wrong, sugar. If you sweep a house and tend its fire, fill its stove, and you have love in you all the years you're doing this, then you and that house are married. That house is yours. The way I see it, the house up there belongs to us. 